Hey y'all, thank you for coming to my channel. I am Saving Grace 999 Tarot back with another general message for the collective. Y'all already know it's Monday, so of course we're gonna be a little messy. Yeah, I know, I know I'm a little late, but hey, better late than never, huh? Because it was almost never. But uh, again, it will be general, so please take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't try to force it to fit. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead, hit the subscription button, become a part of the family. I would love to have you. I do curse. So if you don't want to hear me cursing, which is fine, you might not want to watch me. And if you wear your feelings on your sleeve, again, you might not want to watch me because I'm not finna sugarcoat this shit. To all my returning viewers, hey y'all, what's the motherfucking deal? Thank you guys for the love and the support, the likes, comments, shares, subscribes. Thank y'all for allowing me to do readings for y'all. Thank y'all for the donations and the gifts, which are always appreciated. And thank y'all for fucking with me. Y'all already know I fucks with y'all, so we finna go ahead and get started. So, y'all, get your blunt, get your drink, whatever you need. If you need anything, and if not, cool, just remember, general, okay? So, don't force it to fit. Spirit, bless the collective with the messages that they need to hear, not what they want to hear when it comes to this reading. Protect me as I channel the messages for the collective's highest good. Anybody sending any negative energy my way, I ask that that energy is returned to sender a thousandfold. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Okay, so let's get into it. As y'all see, I'm in my room. But, uh, I, I'm just not recording because, baby, y'all hungry, she's sick. My, my, my is sick, so I had to focus on her. I really been kind of crying all day, y'all. Don't feel sorry for me. Don't feel sorry for me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a soldier. Y'all know I don't cry in front of people, so I had to cry by myself. Because I don't like my mama feeling like that. You know, that's my baby. But that's why I'm just not recording, because I done put her up. And she's in the bed. So I'm like, okay, now let me focus on my other babies. My subscribers. So we in this thing, and we finna see what's... The motherfucking tea for messy money. So what's the message? Somebody yearning for your love. Somebody yearning for your love. The gap band. That's what's playing. They heart is yearning for your love. Look, whatever you told them would happen, is slash has happened. Shaking my head. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's why they yearning for your love. Cause you told you told them, bitch, you'll be back. <laughs> And guess what? Yeah, we being messy. Now they want to come back. Because whatever you told this person was going to happen is exactly what's happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Bitch, you going to miss me when I'm gone. I ain't going to miss you. Fuck you. Guess what they doing? Missing you. Mm-hmm. Missing you. What's the message for today? Missing Monday. Oh, this water sign. This Cancer Scorpio. This Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, what I tell you, that motherfucker is yearning <laughs> for your love. <laughs> now, I don't know who you dealing with, but baby, when I tell you this person is, this person is in their feelings strong, because remember, whatever you told them would happen, done happen. Or it's in the midst of happening. And we all know water is your emotions. Come on now. Preach. Yeah. In they feelings. Mm. Mm -hmm. Having sex in the car for money. Using what they got to get what they need. Oh. They little nasty self. See? Yeah. That's why. See, somebody's struggling. And they don't want you to know they struggling. They they probably get up, act like they go to work. They probably act like they doing something for, you know, $20 here, $30 there. Guess what they doing? <laughs> yeah, doing a little something strange for a piece of change. That's what they doing on the cool. But it's going to come out because anything done in the dark going to come to light. But that could be what you told them. You going to need me before I need you. And because they trying to act like they don't need you, they out there doing whatever they got to do to get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But see, they ain't doing nothing but making themselves look stupid. 22, 20. Two. Now, y'all know, I always tell y'all when the angel number come out, look and see what that means. But since we ain't doing nothing, you know what I'm saying? I got a little time on my hand. Let's look and see what 22, 22 actually is saying. 
because it has to be significant for today if it's coming out for my Mesa Monday reading. <laughs> it says the angel number 2222 22 is an angel number which represents harmony and serenity. Baby, peace be still. You hear me? Peace be still. This person is suffering, but that shit ain't got shit to do with you, okay? It ain't got nothing to do with you. So shake the haters off. Shake them haters off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spirit is letting you know that your, your life is in perfect peace and, and perfect balance. Perfect harmony. Not so much this person. This water sign, whoever they are. That's doing what, you know, using what they got to get what they need. Yeah. See, they played themselves thinking about, child, uh-uh-oh. Oh, look, oh, look, y'all know what? I got too excited. This, I got a card that say they played them played they self trying to play you. So that's what I thought when I read them first two words. But it wasn't that. That's not what this card say. But that's for somebody. Somebody thought they was going to be able to play you. Now, I don't know what happened between you and this person. But they played they self trying to play you. But this say they pleasure themselves thinking about you. Child. They missing it. They missing it. <laughs> You got that comeback, that comeback. I want some more. Toot it up, then drop it low. Baby girl, you know you got that good. You got that. Male or female, yeah, they, they touching themselves, thinking about what they used to have. Mm hmm That's what they doing. Child. Y'all, I told y'all. Quit coming over here on my channel being nasty like this. Hell. Yeah. Look, retaliation. Baby, somebody mad. Now they mad. Now they mad because they got to do what they got to do to get this, this money. But, you know, had they just listened to you, they wouldn't be in the situation. I don't know what you told this person or what you mentioned to this person when you were dealing with this person, whoever they are. It could be romantic or platonic. But for some of them, it's definitely rom For some of y'all, it's definitely romantic because hopefully ain't nobody. Well, you never know. A friend could pleasure themselves thinking about another friend. But, you know, I'm getting... Um, ex-lover. I'm, I'm not getting friend with this pleasure card. But some of these people could be friends. Some of these people could be family members, co-workers, you know what I'm saying? Your ops, but most definitely ex-lovers. Hell. The one that's yearning for your love was an ex-lover. Mm-hmm. Child. What else? But somebody mad. I'm gonna get four more messages. But the center of the message Somebody fucking mad. Now, we gonna see why they mad, but I feel like they mad at they damn self because they, they didn't listen. They didn't take heed when they were given the opportunity. And now this shit is coming back to bite their ass and, and it's coming back to bite them. Basically, that's what that is. And now they mad. Embarrassed. That's what, look, shit done got real. Fights, shootout, 911. Yeah, shit done got real for this person. <laughs> yeah, what they thought was gonna be, you know, maybe a, a a good decision, the the best choice, you know, whatever that was for them. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Shit getting real. Look, the damage is done. You aren't looking back, and that's it is what it is. It is what it is. This person that made their bed, they gonna have to lie in that shit. Oh damn you! I know you put it down. Hmm. But y'all not going back. The damage is already done. So for some of y'all, this is definitely an ex. And even if it's not an ex, it could be a friend, it could be a family member. But whoever this is, they 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 broke they they what's the word I'm looking for? They uh the last straw. It's something about a last straw. They 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 got the short the short end of the stick. This person got the short stick. The, the short end of the straw because you are done. You are done. You know how like when people pull them sticks and the person with the shortest one, they got to do whatever, you know, it is what it is. They got the short end of the stick. But see, they thought they got the long end of the stick because they just knew you would be back. But no, you ain't come back. And see, they're a little slow. It says karmic is a little slow. They got a low IQ or they ain't got no common sense. I don't know which one it is, but it's one of them. They're a little slow. And see, they're going broke. <laughs> they're going broke. Because whatever they doing, strange for a piece of change, it must just be like about forty dollars here and there. I'm just saying, must be, cause baby they going broke. <laughs> hmm. That's why shit done got real. But y'all ain't got nothing to worry about, and that's probably why they mad at you. Because on the outside looking in, they see you you living a life of peace and harmony, and they not. You should be fucking struggling like them. But I mean, why? 
they made the decision to do whatever they did. Because the first call we saw, remember, whatever you told them is or has happened. <laughs> yeah. So they should have took heed. They should have listened. They didn't. Look, major fucking regrets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm, that's why they're mad. They, they want somebody to blame. Usually when a person is feeling a lot of regret, before they start feeling this major regret, they, they were a victim at some point. So it, it was like, it was this person for that. It was this person for this. Until they had to sit with themselves because you were no longer, they couldn't blame you no more. You were gone. <laughs> now that regret's starting to sit in. They fucking said that. And and then I don't know what, what again, I don't know what happened between you and this person. But whatever it was, I kind of got a feeling like there was a point when the, the situation could have been reversed. Like whatever happened between you and this person, it could have, it, things could have been turned back around for the better. But because they did not take heed, they losing out. They done lost out. And at this point, you're not looking back because you told them. Look, and it came out, y'all. Cormac is a little slow. They ain't got no common sense. That's why they in the situation that they in now. Because they ain't got no They slow. They slow. They have no common sense. It ain't so common. So I don't know why it's called common sense. Because it's not common at all. Motherfuckers who think they know what they... You know, motherfuckers who think they smart be the dumbest motherfuckers in the world. Because you can be so smart that you don't. Because you're supposed to always be teachable. Never think you so smart that you can't learn. You know what I'm saying? Shit. But that, this person... Oh, they didn't, they didn't think they had to learn nothing. They thought they knew everything. They thought they knew everything. Look, and now they making enemies everywhere they go. Don't nobody want to fuck with them no more. Don't nobody want to fuck with them. Because the people starting to see their true colors. People starting to see this person. Now, again, I don't know what happened. But if this person is, like, whenever they talk to people, because this card is blue, I kind of got a feeling that the reason they make an enemy is, is because when people hear whatever they got to say, the shit don't sound right. And so these people is looking at them like, you know what, bitch, just, you know, I'm. they probably not telling this person to their face. Some of them probably are because, remember, shit done got real for this person. And they say fights, shootouts, 911, police done been called. They done argue with somebody. They done put paws on, you know what I'm saying? So ain't no telling what's really going on in this person's life. But they making enemies everywhere they go. <laughs> and the one person that they feel like can help them out of this situation, guess who it is, Collected? Oh, it's you. It's you. Nothing shall keep me from him. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's you. Your love. I can't. Y'all think I'm a fucking plan with y'all? Let me show y'all. Nicki Minaj. Your love. Told you it's you. They want you to save them. They want you to save them. Oh, baby, look. This marriage is over under the bottom of the deck. So some of y'all, this is, was an ex-husband or an ex-wife. They made some type of decision. Ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend. They made a decision when they should have taken heed and listened to you. And now that you gone, shit done got real for this person. Everything you told them would happen... Nine times out of ten, it's a snowball effect. First, they missing you. They pleasure themselves thinking about you. Then they can't take it no more, so they know they got to pay bills or whatever. Because to do something strange for a piece of change means you got to some bills. You got a, you got a major bill you trying to pay. To do something strange for a piece of change, that means you got an important bill coming up. House note, mortgage, rent, card note, insurance, whatever. You probably got to put some food on the table. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're willing to do a little something funny for a little hot forty dollars, a little bit of money. You know what I'm saying? And so, again, shit done got real for them. And now that shit done got real, now they feeling sorry for themselves, crying because the one person that they know can help them ain't even there no more. Mm. Card after, look at this, after the marriage is over or the relationship or the situationship or the entanglement or the sneaky link or the little yeah, yeah, whatever you was with this person. If this is a romantic situation, oh, that's done. That's dead. Dead. Look, it says, don't know how to be vulnerable. Too much masculine energy. And see, this is for males or females. This person, they had a big old ass ego. 
They they was too much in their masculine. If it was a female, she wasn't girly girly. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't girly girly. She wasn't submissive. She was not saying you. That's what makes a woman a woman being submissive. No, because I'm not submissive like that. But to a man, a real man, I know how to follow. So you know it's a difference. A woman who don't want to follow a man who leading, who really leading, that person is like. You can be too independent and it's, it, and you can sabotage yourself, if, especially if you find yourself a good man. And money, status, clothes, cars, hat, none of that shit is what makes a good man. Your spirit, your character, your values, your morals, what you willing to do to help the next person is what make you a man or a woman, a good man or a good woman. Not how much money you got, not how much money you make, not what kind of car you drive, none of that shit. None of that shit matters. But I feel like whoever this person is, they realizing that now. But see, it's too late. It's too late. They let their ego get the best of them. And see, now they obsessed with you. Now they obsessed with you. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. And we finna start clarifying these messages. But they said they didn't love or want you. But they lied. They do love and want you. And I feel like these are the people that's walking away from them. Because, see, they was telling so many motherfucking people that they didn't love you, that they didn't want to be with you, that they didn't want you, that, no, nah, it ain't that. I'm, I'm using, whatever they say, I'm using them, I don't want to be with them. Whatever they were saying to, 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 you know what I'm saying, when they was in their ego, whatever they were saying to, whoever they were saying it to, these people are starting to see that this person fucking lied. They ain't nothing but a motherfucking liar. And I said that when I said making enemies everywhere they go. I said because these people are starting to see that this person was a liar. And and it's true. They 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 acted like they didn't want to be with you because, you know, they wanted to be outside with their friends. <laughs> yeah, so they lied on they on their man and said, My man ain't doing A, B, C, and D. So them friends, you know, was like, Well, stop fucking with them. And they did. Now they regret it. <laughs> But they shouldn't have lied to begin with. Because if you got real friends, your real friends is going to tell you the best. They're going to give you the best advice. Especially if they believe you. If they if they feel like they can trust you. And, they, and you telling them all this bad stuff about your, your spouse. Hmm, or your significant other. Your friend going to tell you, man, leave them. Stop fucking with them. I wouldn't fuck with her if I was you, my nigga. Whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. They going to give you sound advice. But they giving you sound advice for a lie. So now that the lie has been exposed, look, 11-11, now this person is ready to spiritually awaken. See, I feel like whoever this person is, they had to sabotage their life in order to go through some type of spiritual awakening. And they currently going through some type of dark night with the major regret, but this dark night going to push them into the spiritual awakening. And look, and once they go through the spiritual awakening, you liable to hear from this person because you got, please accept my apologies. How? Can I make it up to you, child? I'm telling you. Yeah. So right now, somebody is feeling a type of way because they done fucked up a good thing. And it seemed like the good thing was you. Okay? Now, flip it. It could be, a, like, again, a friend, a family member, a child, a co-worker, a neighbor. Somebody mad. Like I said, the center of the reading is somebody is motherfucking me mad. <laughs> they mad. Let's see why they mad. Let's see. Why they really mad? And y'all know why they mad though. Why they mad? But that ain't it. Okay, so that, yeah, calm down, calm down. Calm down. Whoa, no, I'm just like, look, nine to one. See what I'm saying? If this person got any chance with you, they gon' they they got a lot of bricks to try to knock down because you got a whole wall built up. Because of all the shit that you done already accepted that this person did to you, put you through, said to you, said about you, whatever. The nine of wands is somebody who is the wounded warrior. And bitch, you ain't gave up. Everything that people have done to you to try to knock you down, no matter who it is in your life, from, from a kid up until now, you ain't never gave up on yourself. <laughs> you ain't never gave up on yourself. You could be a Aries with the magician on the back of the box, which I ain't never noticed these on the back of the box. Or a Leo <laughs> with the strength core being on the back of the box. And, you know, hey, it is what it is. You've been through some things, but unfortunately, because of your strength, nothing can break you. I mean, <laughs> and maybe this person thought they could break you, but they said, <laughs> nah, they the one that, again, that's what that card 
came in my mind when I saw they pleasured themselves thinking about you. They played they self thinking they was playing you. <laughs> yeah. I'm so hood remix. See, they thought they can, you can't play a player. You can't play a player. Shit, you just can't. <laughs> you just can't. And that's Lil Wayne, Fat Joe. It's a remix, though. You can't play a player, but look, see what I'm saying? Now they want another chance. Ace of Cups. They mad because they want you to get them another chance. For some of y'all, they could be mad because, you know, if this is romantic, they could feel like, you know, you, 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 you don't want to be with them no more. Look, and then you got the nine of wands and the nine of motherfucking pentacles. Yeah, they ain't, baby, they're going to have a hard time getting you back because at this point in time, you are choosing to be single and mingle <laughs> with the nine of pentacles. Very independent. Why? Because you told this person, you'll need me before I need you. And if you didn't tell them that, they knew it. They knew it. Why did I just shuffle that one time and then cut the cords? Y'all know I don't never just shuffle one time, but baby spirit said, yeah, that's what you're doing. Okay. Look, yeah, things changed. Because <laughs> y'all know I don't never just once. I mean, I think I did it twice. One time sideways, and I think I did it one time the, you know, the, the correct way. But I've never done that before. But the spirit don't have, they don't make no mistakes. The wheel of fortune. The wheel has turned, things have changed. You are not the same. Why they mad, spirit? Why is retaliation the center of the reading? Look, because you ain't trying to hear that shit, queen of swords. Male or female. You have, I put my feelings on safety so I don't go shooting. Baby, you ain't. Well, you you not the queen of cups no more. You not the king of cups no more. You the queen or the king of swords. Like, bitch, anybody can get it. Like, I, ain't, I, I hear you out because you see she got a hand extended. So this person is mad because they know you will hear them out, but fuck them. <laughs> yeah, you made your bed. You're going to lie in that bitch. That's what you're going to do because that's what the queen of swords. Look at the face. Look at the look on her face. You can't even really see her face, but you see this. Like, no. And they mad because when they do reach out to you or when you do talk to this person, they going to feel lower than snail shit because that's exactly how you, they not going to feel no love coming out for you. And that's why they mad. They mad because you ain't showing them the love that you once showed them. But why would you show them love when you know the truth now? Because you see how she got her sword up in her. You know the truth about their ass. And they mad that they done been exposed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. Ten of Pentacles. For some of y'all, this is somebody in your family. Or somebody that, you know, you thought you was going to... Yeah, some of y'all, this is somebody that you thought you was going to end up being with. You thought you was going to, you know, be able to build with. This motherfucker end up being nobody but the motherfucking devil. Full of fucking drama. The devil and the five of ones? Yeah, it was time for you to move on from this shit. The chariot, it was time for you to move on from this. But see, and they probably thought it was time too. But, uh, yeah, they don't think that anymore. Now they mad. See, they ain't happy with the decision that they made for cups. They ain't happy. But sorry, Charlie. Why they mad, spirit? With Queen of Swords. One, look, again, I'm telling you. Why? Because you know the motherfucking truth. Now that you know the truth, Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, High Priestess, you're not talking to their ass no motherfucking more. You don't even have the desire to talk to them. Not saying you won't hurt them out if they got something to say, but you ain't got shit to say to them. The High Priestess don't, she don't have to talk. Why? Because she know the answers to the secrets. She already know. Look, King of Wands. She, this person already, they mad because they, they, you could be handsome, you could be beautiful, you could be sexy, but you definitely out here looking good in these streets. And this person is mad because they feel like you just on to the next. Fuck, oh, oh it's just fuck me that easy. Yeah. It, yeah, it is. That's what the Queen of Swords said. It wasn't easy because before you was at the Queen of Swords, you were the Queen of Cups. And male or female, it's just energy. When you in the King or Queen of Cups, love, you, you make decisions based on how you feel about somebody. Mm -hmm. But when you in the Queen of Swords or the King of Swords, bitch, you're practical. It's like, uh, yeah, I love you, but... <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I don't trust you. So, uh-uh, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hear you out. I hear what you got to say. I forgive you. I accept your apology. All that shit. But I'm good. High priestess, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm just focused on me. I'm, I'm just, right now, I'm, just, I'm trying to find me. You know what I'm saying? 
And 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 you may look a certain way, and because you look a certain way, they think you just out there fucking with everybody, talking to everybody, sleeping with everybody. And and you know, if they pleasure themselves thinking about you, again, she this it's obviously something about you. So I mean, regardless of what they think, they they ain't got no proof on it. They can't put no receipts with it. Now they can be mad because they assume you are, and again. You could be well endowed. You could be good in the bed because you see how this man holding his wand. Like, bitch, I know what the fuck I'm doing. I know how to please a mother. Baby. But if you ain't never slept with this person, guess what? That wasn't for you, okay? Okay. I'm glad y'all know that. And look at this. The fucking empress. Baby, quit playing with me. Yeah, this person mad because, see, now that you're not there, now they realize your worth. <laughs> and it's too late. <laughs> You know, sometimes people won't recognize your worth until they 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 fumble you, and that's what it looked like. This person is mad because they actually fumbled you, and you know your motherfucking worth, and you're not going backwards. And now, for some of y'all, this probably haven't even happened yet. Guess what? It's going to, because <laughs> this can this can be past tense. This could be going on right now, or this can be predictive, going to happen. But guess what? <laughs> They mad because y'all gave them something they can feel in vogue. Because that's what's playing. Giving them something they can feel. <laughs> I'm giving him something he can feel. Yeah, or she. To let them know. Yeah, they knew your love was real. <laughs> yeah, they knew your love was real. And now that you don't, they don't have it no more. And see, you see how shit, look at this shit. This shit is so crazy. Why is it a heart on that motherfucking heart on this card? I've never noticed that heart, y'all. Y'all gave this person y'all heart for real. And probably didn't even have to. And they fumbled it. Yeah, y'all get child. They fumbled it. I'll probably be mad too. And 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 they won't, they, they, this is somebody who gonna try to play the victim. With this, because this is the center of the reading. This is somebody who play victim. So get ready. If you are not going through this yet, you will get ready. This is somebody who played a victim. Got a big ass ego. Don't want to listen to nobody. Think they know everything. But then when when shit get real, like shit done got real, then all of a sudden, woe is them. Yeah. So they don't have to be a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. They can be any sign. But y'all know. Y'all know. If you watch me, you know this motherfucking sign stalks my fucking channel. So it's definitely a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. <laughs> That's dealing with a lot of major regret. Yeah. Mm. Y'all gave this person something they can feel. And see, now they not happy. They not happy. <laughs> Cancel Scorpio Pisces. Clarify this message. Why is this water sign here? I think I saw the world card, but you see nothing flip. So, y'all completed a... You could have had a karmic lesson that you had to learn with this particular person. It's completed. It's over. That's why you're not looking back. You don't have a reason to look back. Oh, child, y'all see, I just turned over the deck, and it's the Six of Swords moving on peacefully. You ready to move on peacefully? <laughs> Cancel Scorpio Pisces. Okay, wait a minute, but don't try to run. Look at this. Yeah, the Hierophant in the reverse. You don't want to be in a relationship with this person anymore. If it was a marriage, you don't want to be married to this person anymore. It's It's over. It's over. Five, and you done with the drama. Five of Swords in the reverse. You done. With this bullshit, you done dealing with some motherfucking body who don't want to learn. They, you know, they don't want to listen. They, again, you can't tell this person nothing. They think they fucking know everything. They let everybody in their head. They don't. The worst thing you could do is allow people to be in your head when you don't have common sense. Again, they played themselves trying to play you. And the people who help them play themselves don't even fuck with them. On the cool no more. Remember, they making enemies everywhere they go. And the people that they making enemies are the people that they lied to. Some of them are these friends. <laughs> yeah. So now they got to do something strange for a piece of change. <laughs> what they doing strange for a piece of change? S -s Fucking Queen of Wands. <laughs> I told you. Having sex in the car for a month. And if they're not in the car, they probably going to get a room, you know, a little two hour, two for ten. You know, I'm sure they ain't got two for tens no more. That, you know, they did in my day, but, you know, hey. 
But the Queen of Wands is somebody who is very sexual. You know what I'm saying? Male or female. This person is out there, you know. <laughs> hey. Bust that pussy open, then that to the big bag, but that, but that. <laughs> yeah, that's what they doing. Yeah, but see, they want love, but see, they they can't get love because they toxic as fuck and they full of drama. They don't deserve it. <laughs> they don't deserve real love. So they got to do what they got to do. They got to what? What? How she saying in Players Club? I got to do what I got to do to get what I. Need. I don't think that's what she said. I got to do what I got to do. Y'all know the damn part. Y'all know. Y'all know. Having sex in the car for money. Mm, mm, mm. Using what they got to get what they need. Clarify this messy. Baby, this is messy. <laughs> Look, tower. See, they trying to avoid a tower. The tower court is in the reverse. For some of y'all, they doing what they got to do because they got to pay their rent. They can't pay their rent. They going to get put the fuck out. They going to lose their housing. They going to, you know what I'm saying? All that shit. Babylon will fall. Jericho will fucking fall. If they don't. Do what they got to, I got to do what I got to do to get with. No, nah, that ain't, I'm not saying it right. It'll come to me, though. It'll definitely come to me. Oh, I got to use what I got to get what I need. <laughs> so that's what they, using what they got to get what they need. But, baby, what they got obviously ain't about nothing because, look, I told y'all it was about a house. Somebody about to lose a house. They, 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 apartment. They, they. Child, and that's why they out here sleeping in motherfucking. Look at, I'm telling you, look at this, baby. The cards is telling it on them. The cards is telling it, and they gonna get caught. For some of y'all, they gonna get caught creeping with somebody, or done got caught creeping with somebody, or got caught sleeping in the motherfucking car, giving some head or something in the goddamn car, and the loss was called, baby, because it was about to be a fight. But yeah, they 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 sleeping in some, they having sex for money because they gotta pay rent. And y'all know rent is coming back up. But I'm hearing back rent. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> somebody, somebody fuck with somebody who, like, they probably done went about two months without paying their rent. And they about to go to eviction court and all of that already went. I don't know what's going on. But with the tower in the reverse, they trying to not lose. They don't want to lose this this uh, this house. And you see the 401, so it got to be a house. Or where they live. It's something... That they think that they have established for themselves. They think, you know, it's stable. And it's not. Because the tower in the upright is something that was built on sand. It was not built on solid foundation. It was not. So, yeah. They got to do what they got to do. And I mean, hey, you know. I don't know about y'all. I, I you know back in the day, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, shit. If, if I didn't have no money and I knew I could just make one phone call and just, you know what I'm saying? But that, but that. Yeah, I did that. I did that. I did that. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> but it was never for $40. It was always a, a, a bill plus. I mean, you know, a, a, a G plus. Because my rent was always over $1,000. I ain't never had. Well, yes, I did. I had housing when my kids were like, I think. Hmm, what, two, three, four maybe? And then after that, no. <laughs> shit, I've always had to pay rent, so my shit has always been over $1,000. So, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I get it. I ain't judging nobody, but baby, this person is in this situation because they were listening to the wrong people or because they sabotaged themselves by having a big old ass ego or having a lot of pride. Whatever they got going on in this situation, they brought on themselves. They wouldn't even be in the position that they in had they not been listening to people or trying to play victim, lying on you, whatever that entails, whatever the case may be. They wouldn't be in the position they in right now. They wouldn't be. But you, peace. Be still. Like I said, 22, 22. This all you. Okay, bars. Yeah, that's all you. Spirit said, even if you not feeling like shit is going well for you or you're in a place of peace and harmony or balance, it's coming. It's coming. Whatever this person meant to, 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 to do to you, whether it was to break you, emasculate you, embarrass you, whatever it was used, whatever happened, it's, it's going to backfire. It done already backfired. <laughs> That's why you got major regret. It has already backfired. Look, knocking the boots. H-Town, child. Mm. 22-22 for the collective. Look, see? Seven of Swords. Mm. See what I'm saying? Somebody trying to 
figure out some type of plan to, to, to maybe get you to get them attention again. Six of Wands. Child, don't fall for a collective. Let they ass lay in the bed that they made for themselves. Because that's what it looked like. This energy is somebody made their bed and now it's time to lie in it. But they're going to try to come back and get you to help them. Don't you do it. Look, I told you temperance. Not baby, peace and harmony. Balance is yours. It's yours. It's Look, our spirit is asking you just continue to soul search. Continue to just focus on you. With the hermit energy, continue to, you know, just focus on you. Soul search. Go deep. Dive deep. What is it in life you really want? If you in a place of peace and balance, you know, if you whatever it is you want, I feel like it's going to require you doing it alone. Because in both of these cards, you see it's one person. Mm -hmm. It's going to require you to do it alone. But 2222, why is this here for the collective? Baby, because your wish is about to be fulfilled. Nine of cups. What? And you see it's one person in this card too. Yeah, see, I feel like whatever you went through or whatever you're going through right now, it was supposed to happen this way because Spirit is saying, before I bless you, I need you to be by yourself. Mm -hmm. I need you to be by yourself. And and and, and everything that you want, mm, I'm, I'm finna give it to you. Them wishes, but you, but you need to stand on that shit. You see how she got her arms folded? Just as selfish as whoever this person is in your life, whether it's platonic or romantic, whoever. However, just as selfish as they were with you, Spirit said be just as selfish with them when they come back around. Shit. Because they coming back. Look, see what I'm saying? The nine of ones, I can't make it up. Nine, nine. Y'all know nines are about endings. Something's over, but that don't mean somebody going to allow it to, you know, just going to just say, okay, well, fuck it. I'm not going to fight for it. I'm not going to try to get it back. Oh, no. Because retaliation always is about revenge. Getting back. But see, they not going to be able to get back. They not going to be able to retaliate. They just not going to be able to. They going to try, but they not going to be able to. Look, five of cups. Cannot fucking make it up. <laughs> Regret. Yeah. And now, and when, and as they watch your wishes be fulfilled, this shit is going to kill them. The more happier you become and become in, in, a, in a more balanced place in your life, the fucking more miserable they will be. <laughs> that's their karma for a lot of y'all that's going to be their karma is to see you be happy to see your wishes be fulfilled to see things be fulfilled with for you that you and them y'all talked about you and this person both y'all talked about doing this stuff together but you know of course they made they bed yeah <laughs> And I kind of feel like a lot of y'all probably haven't completely given up on this person. But you're going to let them lay in the bed. They done made for themselves because they play too goddamn much with this magician. Listening to their motherfucking friends and shit. So, yeah, you wanted to listen to your motherfucking friends and play games and shit. Magician and the three of cups. Bitch, I can be single for a little while and I'm going to let you sit in that shit. And I guarantee you, see, they didn't expect that. Whoever this was, they didn't expect that. But they, they got to deal with it now. Shit done got real. See, now they, now, now they touching themselves, thinking about you. Thinking about what you used to do, how you used to do it. What I'm, where I'm at? Four, 38 minutes? I can't see it, y'all. I think I'm at 38 minutes. So let's see. They pleasure themselves thinking about you, baby. Look, yep. And, and it's because you ain't giving it enough. You ain't busting that pussy open. Now, you ain't doing it no more. The Six of Pentacles is in the reverse, baby. I, I love how my spirit guys be saying, I said what I said. They always, I said what the fuck I said. <laughs> and yeah, this person, they ain't, they ain't got no choice but to touch they self thinking about you. You know what I'm saying? And child. Mm, mm, mm. Look, see what I'm saying? King of Cups. I cannot make it up. <laughs> Bars. Baby, quit playing all this damn slow ass music. Guess who loves you more? Raheem Devon. Baby, quit playing. We need some rap music. Look, I love you, Faith Evans. Quit playing. Y'all, I told y'all. Uh, X is so... Baby, this person is like going to always uh, just be in my readings. I, so, you know what? It is what it is. But this person is mad. Why? Because they in love with you, but they feel like they done lost you. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. They pleasure they say us thinking about you. And, and it's because you're no longer giving to them. And I'm not talking about just on a material level. You're not giving to them sexually, intimately. You're not giving, like, kissing, to hugging, touching, feeling, rubbing booties, none of that. You ain't doing none of that no more. Look, and they were codependent. This person was 
very codependent on you. But because of the people that they were surrounded by, they acted like they weren't. Whoever you would, whoever this person is for you, whoever they are, they were very codependent on your intimacy and your touch, your physical touch. They ain't got it no more, baby. They losing. It. They losing it. I'm telling you, they losing it because they feel like everything that you was doing to them, you doing it to somebody else now, and that may not even be the case. But you have to understand when a person play themselves trying to play you, everything that they was trying to do, they think you doing it. So if they was out there trying to fuck with a third party, guess what? They think you doing it again, and you good in the bed, oh baby. <laughs> Look, trap star Jeezy. I'm a T R A P S T R. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you you good at what you do. Because as I think about trap star, I'm thinking about a porn star. So you good at what you do. <laughs> okay, let me keep going. But that's I mean, but see, that's because that's what they would have been out there doing, sleeping around. That just y'all not the same. They were very codependent on your touch. And now that they ain't getting it, they gotta touch they self. Look. And that's why they mad. And that's why shit done got real. Uh, Cause maybe they thought, you know, maybe they thought they had that BDE or that WAP or something, and they realizing no, it was never them. It was always you. Child, shit done got real. What's going on with this person? But so shit done got real. What is going on, baby? Whatever they going through. I guarantee you they weren't ready for it. Oh, and it may have something to do with work or money. <laughs> yeah, some of y'all, if this person, if they got a job, this person probably is about to lose a job, or they probably got in trouble at work. If this was, um, as far as money coming in, money may not be coming in the way it was. Like, um, like say you work, do work on the side, and you know the business is kind of good. You at least got a little extra money. But again, money looking funny because they using what they got to get what they need. So if shit done got real, and the Eight of Pentacles is here, somebody done probably lost a job, or however they was getting money. That shit starting to look funny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit. Look, King of Swords. For some of y'all, they done got fired. Or they about to get fired. They about to get let go. And they, they low-key pissed off about it. They is. But see, they shouldn't have been inconsistent. Look, yep. They being let go. For some of y'all, something that they been doing for money for a while, it's, it's, it's drying up. It's drying up. No matter what that is. A little side hustle. They they can't find, you know, nobody to... To... to uh. Handsome and wealthy. Mm, mm, mm. See what I'm saying? Looks probably, looks probably fading. Baby, and the sun that just came on, y'all would not even believe it. Look, and then what's up on the bottom of the deck? Death. Why is your God at fuck you playing? Me. Ass up, face down. Hey, one night only, I'm from out of town. Ha! <laughs> yeah. And this will put, we spend cake on it. Plain tick, hotel, new bag, it's Chanel, scissor sneakers, his and hers. If you a hater, I just got two words. Hey, ha, yeah, look, it's over. This person has made their bed and they're going to have to lie in it. And baby, they are mad. <laughs> they mad. Yeah, they, they mad that you don't love them anymore. You don't love them. And if you do have love for them, you're not in love with them. She, I mean, the King of Cups is somebody who emotionally balanced. But he don't pretty much tell you he how he feel. You know, you're supposed to know. So that's why they mad. That's how shit done got real. And because they so angry, they making enemies everywhere they go. So they are having fights with people, arguing with people. Again, losing, you know, clients, business, Deals not falling through. Shit that they was doing for work. The job about to let that is, baby. It major. Major regret. Major regret. Why is this here? Baby, this is a beautiful messy Monday. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I cannot make it up. Because everything that they don't work for is about to be gone. <laughs> everything that they don't work for is about to be gone, baby. It's a crazy how the majority of all these cards are in the reverse when I'm talking about this person but when they as they mad at you and I'm asking why and you in the upright queen of swords ace of swords high priestess king of wands empress bitch y'all not the same 
<laughs> y'all not the same, and I y'all know I just talk like that. But y'all know I be feeling this energy. Look, yeah, they they know it, they know it's stressing. Nine or so it's crying and shit at night trying to act like then when they walk out in the room and the living room when they go to work, they try to make themselves look all good. But baby, the truth is this person has nightmares. This person wake up in the cold sweat, crying like a motherfucker. Some sometimes they can't even go to sleep. But they, if they got a job, of course they got to try to get some type of sleep. But they woke up. As soon as they go to sleep, they start dreaming about you. They can't take it. Yeah. Major fucking regret. Yeah. Oh, no. This is on the bottom. My bad. My bad. I was about to put it down. Major regret. They played too many games. They played they self trying to play you. That's the name of the, 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 the messy money reading. They played they self trying to play you. And now they mad. Damn. And now they mad. See, look, eight one. See, major regret. They know you might not want to be with them, but they still want to talk to you. They, they, they regret not saying something sooner. <laughs> they regret not saying something sooner. See the moon card. Then I tell you that this person tried to hide how sad they truly are. Yeah, they, 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 they do. But it is what it is. It's seen. People see it. And because people see it, this person is mad. But you played yourself. Thinking you was going to play the collective. Making enemies everywhere they go. Why are they making enemies everywhere they go, Spirit? Look, because the Three of Pentacles in the reverse and the Knight of Swords. Because they arguing with every fucking body that they, who passed, they cross. They, and, and, and for some of y'all, it's people that they listen to. These are friends that they had. Family members. These are people that, that they like really was fucking with. With the Three of Pentacles. These are people that they were really fucking with. Like, tight. Yeah, not not anymore. Not anymore. Arguments. And for some of y'all, it may even go to blows. <laughs> Shit, for some of y'all. And it's because this person is slow as fuck. They had no common sense. They still have no common sense. But again, you remember, you can't tell a motherfucker who know everything nothing. And that's going to always come to bite you. And it's going to always come to bite you in the, in the end. Every time. Karmic is a little slow. No common sense. And I'm not talking about born being a little slow. I'm not saying, you know, uh, a disease, a, dis a disability for you dumb motherfuckers. Because they do be dumb motherfuckers in the comments. I'm talking about a person who they, you know, they know they, they may be smart, you know, educationally smart. You know, they may have a little smarts in other little areas of life. But when it comes to common fucking sense, they ain't got it. They ain't got it. Yeah. But, oh well. Look, seven of cups under the bottom of the deck. Yeah. <laughs> Confusion. This person lived their life through rose-colored glasses. Like, da, 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 da. like, come on now. They slow. No common sense. See what I'm saying? That's why they stuck in life. To a sword. And they gonna stay stuck as long as they ain't got no common sense. Shit. They need somebody to help them. You know what I'm saying? Whoever they are, they, they dependent on people helping them through life. <laughs> Look, and they're going to always be waiting. They're going to always be waiting until they get their shit together. They better get it together or they're going to stay stuck. Look, dead. Oh, for some of y'all. This, this person is going to die stuck in this energy. They're not going to never get to experience peace. They're not going to never get to experience Balance. They not gonna even be able to come out the hole financially that they have dug for themselves. And when they and when and at the end of their days, when they are laid to rest, they're gonna still be stuck. Okay. No common sense. No common sense. Bottom of the deck. Judgment. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Spirit said you gonna pay what you owe. <laughs> you gonna pay what you owe. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you did, you gonna pay. But the collective ain't got nothing to worry about. Keep loving yourself. A lot of y'all got a brand new stable beginning coming. Spirit is saying, keep loving yourself. Oh, we go like this. Keep loving yourself, but no, they nothing. But look at this. And then if you keep loving yourself, okay, again, this person they facing judgment. But you, you about to have a brand new stable beginning. Spirit is saying, continue to love yourself. Continue to stay emotionally balanced. And continue to look for your ships to come in. They come in a lover's card. There's a whole new relationship. A better relationship. The star. Yeah. And I'm telling you, this person though, whoever this is, this person is going to be stuck and missing you. Strength card. Mm, yeah. <laughs> stuck and missing you. To the, for the rest of their days. Shit.
But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You made your bed. You got a lot in it. Look, I, I, I want to make sure I put these down. Just how they came up. It is what it is. Messy Monday. You played yourself trying to play the collective. Oh, well. Now you got to pay what you owe. The universe said you got me fucked up. You got to pay what you owe. And you going to pay what you owe. Shit done got real. So truth. So truth. So give me a, a final message for the collective for this old good old messy Monday reading. What is they what is the collective soul truth for this particular energy spirit? Thank you so much. I mean, and it'd be so funny because again, you know, we can think, you know, at the time when we go through some shit or somebody do us wrong, that like that's fucked up. They gon' you know, that's how could this happen? Baby, what the universe say, trust me. You may not see it. But trust me, I'm a get them. Especially if you didn't do anything wrong. Look, I can tell. 504 boys. I'm telling you. See, now they can tell you. Now they can tell you. Oh, they getting them. They getting them. They finna get it. <laughs> what is the collective soul truth message? One message here. What is the collective soul truth message? But, baby, every time I ask for one, y'all give me two. But I'm going I'm to go with it. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously you want them to hear these two messages. So, oh, child, this is so funny. My spirit guys play too much. Now, didn't I tell y'all that spirit is saying, continue to focus on yourself, pour all their love into you, and, you know, continue to soul search, dive deep? The damn cards say, am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life? <laughs> what? What? Gee, it says you are the asset, bitch. What did I tell you? You the prize. You was the prize, not not whoever they thought they I don't know what they thought really on the cool but they was listening to all the wrong motherfuckers and that's what they get they slept on the wrong somebody here yeah, you are the asset that's what the first four fucking words say it was always you it was always you this body is your vehicle notice how your body is feeling how much sleep you are getting and what you can do to help your body rest today's soul action Take a bath, put on some lavender essential oil, go to bed ridiculously early, or give yourself a time out today. Notice your body thanking you. Today's mantra, the more I give myself permission to rest, the more I can contribute. <laughs> it's all about you. Didn't I just say that though before I ended this? I said, Spirit said, you need to just focus on you. It's, it's always been about you. It's always been about you. And for some of y'all... You were the asset. You were the blessing. And they fumbled it. <laughs> yeah. Am I ready to let go of this buried shame? Mm. Some of y'all may be feeling like, you know, you may feel some type of way because of whatever you just went through with this person. Whoever this person is for you. Platonic or romantic. But uh, child, let that shit go. It, you, it's, you been ready to let it go. Because why be with somebody that's not going to appreciate you being the asset. Because <laughs> obviously they didn't see it. It says, The feeling of shame is the lowest energy frequency there is. When you live in shame, you live in darkness. What part of you is ready to stand in the light? Is there any shame from a past experience that is ready to be healed? Today's soul action? Heal the shame by giving it a name. Oh! Baby, yes, y'all see my spirit guys. They, 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 they be fly too sometimes. But it says, heal the shame by giving it a name, bring it to the light, and let it be seen, heard, and healed. It's revival season. Replace the shame with your soul's truth. Fill in the blank. My soul's truth is blank. Whatever that blank is for you. But baby, ain't nothing that you're doing in life or what you got going on or what you're going through should ever make you feel ashamed or embarrassed. And if so, get that shit a name and give it to God. On who am I placing blame right now? Who, who, who you placing the blame on for what you got going on? It, it, they didn't do it. Should have listened. You didn't want to listen. I don't know why I'm being led to read this, but I'm going to read it because somebody had to hear it. It says, a person who blames others has not begun their lesson. And then I say that this person was a victim. Oh, that's why they want me to read. Oh, my God. Okay, well, my bad. My bad. This the person, this is why the universe is wanting you to know the type of person you was dealing with. 
they always point the blame at somebody else. But what do I say when you point? It's three pointing back at you. They never take accountability. But anyway, it say a person who blames others has not begun their lesson. A person who blames themselves has begun their lesson. A person who blames no one has finished their lesson. What part of the lesson you on? Today's soul action. Take responsibility. On whom are you placing blame right now? Today, free yourself by releasing all victimhood, blame, and resistance. They don't belong where you are going. Only love and courage live there. Make a choice to do it. Even if you don't feel ready, listen to your heart. You will be led. Like I said, your per whoever this person is, they got a victim mentality. And they played that. They played that card. But they done played that card long enough, baby. The universe is not happy with them. And they finna, they shit finna get real for them if it already happened. But I'm going to end it right there. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If so, I ask that you hit the thumbs up button. Comment down below. Share the video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. I would love to have you. And if you would like to donate to my channel, get your girly gift. Because y'all know I love surprises. Or if you just want to chit-chat, information is down below. Bye, y'all.